Good morning. It is Thursday and it's an exciting day because it's the Tesla Robo Taxi event. I feel like it's going to be really cool because people from Tesla are tweeting about it saying that like this is going to be in history books. Like I don't know what exactly is going to happen, but I have a feeling that we'll probably be able to ride in the taxis like fully self-driving. Yeah, I'm excited. However, I got the worst sleep ever, so I feel terrible right now. So I still have the sinus congestion and I feel like it's making me have like sleep apnea temporarily or something. Like I just do not feel rested even after two espresso shots so I've been editing, but I just have like the worst headache. So I think I'm gonna try and take like a mini nap because I really think it's important that I feel fresh and like have energy to film later at this event because I feel like I'm gonna need to like stay up late probably editing it. So I'm like, do I try and sleep now so I can stay up all night? But oh God, I'm just like in pain. Like literally why? I'm always getting these weird sinus things. I'm just gonna try and take a little nap, I think and then get a little bit more work done here, a little more editing and head over to that event. I did wash my hair. So we're just gonna dry it and then I'll attempt to take a nap. Which I feel kind of guilty about because I have like some stuff I want to finish editing, but I'm like, I don't know. I think it's just more important that I rest so I can really bring my best when I'm getting footage later. I'll have like a cold brew. That should do the trick. Then I'll be like wired. Really should be able to get like footage. This is like, a great opportunity. I can't show up and feel like horrible and not do a good job because of that. It's just not an option, you know? <laughs> Okay guys, I actually did take a little short nap and I do feel a lot better, thank God. My headache is gone and I felt really guilty about doing it because I have a lot of stuff I need to get done and I'm just like, oh, I don't wanna be doing this but the reality is I am still sick and I didn't give myself any time to rest yesterday. Like, So it kind of caught up with me and I, I kind of just needed that. And Sometimes it's like you need to actually just listen to your body physically. I'm still learning how to do that because I feel like just so many of us, we grew up being like nope ignore it just keep working on stuff no like that doesn't work you need to rest in order to feel better and do your best work so still reminding myself that and trying to not feel guilty and i'm glad that i did it because now i just feel like i can actually go to this event and get footage and not be like miserable the whole time i'll actually have a good time because i was like just really feeling not good like my head just hurt so bad i still have some time to get some things done i'm a little confused on what time to even go to this they're like, oh, the parking lot opens at 3 p.m., but the check-in doesn't start till 5.30, and the actual remarks aren't till 7. Do I go early? Is there gonna be stuff to get footage of super early? I'm not really sure. I think I'm just gonna try and get there at like 5. I don't know that I need to hang out in a parking lot for two hours. That's the plan, although I know people are gonna. People are totally going to get there right at 3 and be like tailgating this thing, probably. I'm just glad I got an invite because I almost missed the invite for this. I really thought I wasn't invited. I saw people on Twitter and stuff were getting these invites and I was like, what the heck? I didn't get one and I've gotten invited to other Tesla events in the past. So I was like, oh, I guess I didn't get one this time. And then I don't know, like five days went by and I was like, wait, maybe I just didn't see the email. So I searched in my email Tesla and sure enough, the email just went to a different folder. I almost missed the RSVP deadline actually. I don't know, it's like just a great opportunity for making videos. I feel like everyone, all the videos do really well when Tesla like announces new stuff. Quite excited that I saw it. I was like, oh my gosh, thank God. Here's the tea on Tesla events. They don't give you your ticket until like two days before. You RSVP, but you don't know if you're for sure like able to get in until like a day or two, maybe three days in advance max. So people are flying here, they're booking tickets and they're not even sure if they're like for sure on the list. But people do it. I think probably everyone who RSVP'd got it. I RSVP'd kind of late and they sent me my ticket later than other people. So there was a good while there where I was like, maybe I was too late, but I did end up getting it. With Tesla events, it's just a lot of waiting usually. I feel like everyone I've gone to, it's like you check in and then 
there's quite a bit of time before they make the announcement. I mean, it's kind of like any sort of event like that. I feel like that's pretty normal, actually. And basically, I just prepare myself for a long evening. Like, I probably won't get home till, like midnight because I'll probably have some kind of demonstration that we're able to do. It's 100% worth it and it's really fun and I'm excited. I'm like so glad I'm able to go. Just got my brows done really quick because I'm gonna be on camera. I want to look put together at the YouTube shopping event. They gave me that lip liner that's all over TikTok that you peel off and it's like a stain. So I'm gonna try it today because I feel like it looks really good when people use it. So brand is called Sashu, Sachu. I'm not sure how to say it. If I like it, I I will link it on the YouTube shopping. I have high hopes because it, I feel like looks great on everyone I see on TikTok. Trace applicator along the lip line. Let dry for 10 to 15 minutes. So we leave it on like that for 10 minutes and then I'll peel it off, so I'll be back. I'm like, did I do this well? If this doesn't look good on me, that's gonna be kind of bad because fingers crossed on that. Okay, 10 minutes is up, peel it off. Don't mind all this stuff. I'm gonna clean it tomorrow. All right, definitely a dramatic line. You're supposed to put like a product on top to kind of blend it. Okay, there it is. It definitely gives an illusion of like a fuller lip because it just like lines. I like it on the top lip, but on the bottom, it was like a little bit unnatural. I'll just keep reapplying product as the evening goes on. Haven't really vlogged for the last little bit. I just made a TikTok about the Tesla event. I just feel like it's so hard for me to focus today because I just am thinking about this event and pre-planning in my head and getting all the gear together. And I feel like it's just gonna be like huge, whatever they announce. Like, I don't know. I just am getting the feeling that this is gonna be like crazy. Make sure I have everything. I'm gonna bring my laptop in case I wanna edit right after. Like, just find somewhere to go edit. I don't know. I'll probably drive home though. Obviously, I'm bringing a wide angle lens and then I'll use my phone for closer shots. Oh, duh. I need to make sure I have like a ton of memory. Let's like delete everything. I'll bring an extra memory card. Just get a ton of footage. We're heading over. They're having the event actually at the Warner Brothers lot this time, which they don't normally do, but I think that's because they're going to be doing more test drives and stuff. And it's like a fully closed off, like not public area. So they're probably like allowed to do more. But it's for charging my phone more. Just make sure everything is so charged, you know? I've got extra batteries. We're so prepared for this. It's kind of far away, so I'm heading over there early because I feel like it'll take me like fully an hour to get there, <laughs> but it's worth it. And I might get coffee because I'm like, a Tesla event is not an influencer event. Like they're not out here trying to like court influencers. They are just doing like a press release essentially. So there's no like food and drinks, at least at any that I've gone to. Some people are saying that the robots are gonna be making drinks for people because it's 21 plus so that would be kind of cool but I kind of doubt it Okay, this event ended up being way crazier than I thought. They actually did have a ton of food and drinks. So I ate before, but I did not need to. There was a presentation at the start. One thing I didn't say in my main channel video is the demographic of this event. I would say 99% men, like a handful of girls there. So that was an interesting vibe. But anyway, so they played the video and then afterwards there was like a drone show and then we got to go walk around this set that they made. So there were self-driving Teslas all over. There was all kinds of performances. You could talk to the robots. Um, they definitely were like people remote connecting in. So like Tesla employees. The cyber cap looks pretty cool in my opinion. But yeah, the robots aren't as sophisticated as maybe it seems like in videos. Okay guys, good morning. Don't mind that my apartment's kind of messy. I'm gonna clean it all up when I finish this video. I went to the Tesla Cyber Cab robot event thing last night, which was disappointing for me. I'll explain because what they announced wasn't disappointing. What they announced actually was really cool. Overall, the event was actually crazy. Like, so funny how I vlogged. Like, they never have food at these, so I ate before and then I was like, wait, they have so much food. They really stepped it up. I feel like this event was to get people hyped. It's not that they're actually stagnant, but maybe people thought 
thought that because so many people bought a model 3 and then they had the car they wanted and what now no they are working on a ton of stuff and i will say i know i'm gonna get comments about elon's like political stuff and honestly i just separate the art from the artist i'm still excited about what tesla is doing for everyone's future of cities i feel like they're doing a lot of good in general and i just want to pretend the political part of it is like not happening but the reason that it was disappointing for me was because i didn't get to ride in the cyber cab and so many people did and that i know would have been the best part of the video there was like two thousand people at this thing and all of us had a boarding group to ride the cab and mine was like one of the later ones it was 10 p.m and so i get in line at like 9 50 because i'm like okay i'm not gonna get to the front by 10 for sure it's really long and i wait for almost two hours i'm like really close to the front they're like nope we're done doing rides like we're not doing anymore and so i kind of weaseled my way into a model y ride and that's just not as cool because whatever you can already go in a freaking waymo or like a model y it's just not really as cool as going in the cyber cab so i was annoyed at that you know there were so many people at the event and i think that is great like so many shareholders got to go i think it's really great that they're like inviting all those people that believe in tesla i don't know it was still cool and i'm excited about the stuff they announced i'm like Ugh. can they launch it now um i know it's gonna be years and years and years can't wait to be done with this though and like clean my apartment because it's driving me crazy now let's see the footage i got i feel like i didn't get as much footage as i wanted because i wasn't able to bring a plus one either so i couldn't bring like someone to help me film and then i was trying to get short form and long form and so i'm like i feel like i kind of dropped the ball on the long form i've been editing for the last like four hours i have like a five minute cut of the video but i want to go film a little bit i want to compare it to waymo i feel like my life is a mess until i get this video done it's just like the top priority i can't wait to be done and like clean later but i'm like it's so timely i need to get it out asap so i'm gonna get ready and then call a waymo and we'll get some video shots in that so i gotta say that lip stain i tried yesterday i'm obsessed it lasted so long and i liked how i looked in a lot of the photos and stuff i took because i feel like my lips were like visible for once so i'm definitely gonna use that today Okay, I'm gonna call a Waymo. I'm just gonna have a drive me around to take me to like a park where I can get some shots and this will help finish the video and really get my point across of just like the changing future of cities. I'm trying to make this overall like an optimistic video because I'm just optimistic about the fully self-driving cars and like how it's gonna make our cities better. But yeah, I just think I need like this one last clip basically for it and then it'll be done. Me personally, I would love to see a future with more parks like this rather than parking garages. Here's the spot that we're gonna film. I feel like my hair doesn't look the best, but I really didn't want to spend the time doing it today. <laughs> this park is really nice because it's not like that busy. So I don't feel that awkward filming in public because I don't know, I feel like no one's really paying attention to what I'm doing, but I also don't care because I just need to get this done. But let's get another Waymo and head back. Okay, we're finishing up this edit. I really want to get it up soon. All right, rendering out the video, but I still want to do more short form stuff. It's like almost 2 p.m. now, so it took me like, you know, good half of the day to get that done. But I still wanna make some more TikToks and Instagram posts to like really just capitalize on this thing, you know? I don't know if it's really gonna do that well because I feel like this is big within the Tesla world, but I'm like, it kind of seems like other people are, they didn't even know this event was happening. So not as much buzz as I was hoping for, but that's okay, still gonna upload it. I think it's cool. Okay, I got the video done. I really whipped that together and I'm pretty pleased with it. I think it turned out pretty good. Obviously, if I had more time or a videographer there it would be better but pretty good pretty good all right time to clean this place up I am finally done with working on stuff for the day. It's 5 p.m. So that was like a good normal work day, right? I pretty much woke up and got straight to it. But I got the video up. I got an Instagram reel, short, everything. So actually very productive. Can't believe I pulled that off. And then I had to respond to some emails and stuff. I'm gonna have my Mendocino Farm sandwich. And we're gonna have a cozy night in because I'm still kind of sick. And I feel like yesterday was just a lot. Like I didn't get home until like 1 a.m. I can't be exerting that much energy. One of my friends wanted to go to a concert tonight and 
I'm just like, I can't. But I do want to get some movement in because my aura ring has made me very aware of how I haven't really been like moving my body that much today or yesterday. So we'll go hit against a wall and like go to a park for a little bit. I feel like it's kind of a hidden gem, like not a lot of people know about it, so we're practicing some turns. Hey. 